right guys, so this is the cylinder that I made over the last four videos. You can go ahead and search that back in uh, my library. There is a centering a pound and a quarter. There is an opening up a pound and a quarter. There is a creating the floor a pound and a quarter. And then there is a throwing a cylinder pound, cylinder pound and a quarter. Now, this part can get super tricky. I have members who've been with me for years who just struggle with this part. I'm gonna show you guys what I think is the easiest way to do this. So I always use this wood tool. I think that this wood tool can get into any shape pot. Whereas the larger plate rib, I think that's a little too big. Again, it's like using a bulldozer or a large scoop truck to play in a sandbox. So I use this tool right here. Now, a lot of people think that they have to hold the, the clay like this because they think the only important part is getting rid of this clay right here, but it's actually not. The most important part is getting rid of the extra clay that may be on the side. If we leave a thick part of clay there, it's gonna dry super unevenly. This right here is gonna dry in, let's say, a day. And if that clay is double the thickness, that's gonna take two days. And then we're gonna have a problem trimming it. It's not gonna dry evenly. We don't wanna spend an hour trimming our pots. We don't wanna trim a pot out of a mound of clay. So what I do is a lot of people make this mistake. They do this and they think they've gotten enough clay off. I want to get more off the side. So I'm going to hold this like a pencil. I'm going to use this like a blade, not this. This is going to be awkward and you're going to dig it into your, into your pot. You want to hold it close to the bottom. Now you always want to do everything with two hands and with a wet tool. So I'm going to put this hand up on top here so that when the clay starts to pull, I have a better grip on what's going to happen. I'm going to choose a spot from the top and I'm going to start to drive that down into the bat. Once I hit the bat, I'm not going to pull straight out. I'm going to come out the way I went in. Okay. I did a little messing up at the side there. So once I go down, hit the bat and pull up and out, now I have this perfect loop of clay here down on the bottom to take off. If I drag this out, this would cut and turn into several pieces. So we want this to be just one strip. It's just going to be a lot easier. Now you're going to see a lot of professionals or people who are doing this a long time. They'll then switch their hand, hold it like this, angle this straight down, cut down and do that. And it goes and it turns into this beautiful ribbon of clay that everyone loves. The problem with that for beginners is this is a very specific angle. It, it has to be angled this way so that that doesn't go into your pot. So it's gotta be able to go straight down. I think that's super difficult. So the way that we do it here with beginners is we take our pin tool, we dip it in water. We're gonna hold on to it again with two hands, one hand here, one hand here. And we're gonna slide that right underneath that excess clay. And I'll even go a little bit into the pot. I'm gonna stop my wheel. I'm gonna cut down on this piece of clay and look at that. You don't get that cool foldy piece of wavy clay, but you do get a pretty neat, clean cut on the bottom. It doesn't go back into the box. Super important when you're making a bowl. Now, remember I went ahead and I dug this a little bit underneath that loop of clay. What that's going to do is it's going to help me wire my pot better later. Give me a little bit of a space to get that wire tool underneath. I hope that that helped. Good luck trimming your excess off with your pointy wood tool.